Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, we were, well, here I am. We were pretty well set up for whatever will be coming our way, and I'm sure there's something. So, uh, here we go. Moving out a little bit. Get that. Alrighty. And now it's just... Oh. Is that a friendly group of people? Okay, okay. I gotta be honest. <laughs> um, I've tried multiple times to run up against these enemies. I think I have a plan this time. Uh, I have had to, <laughs> over and over again, uh, redo the start of this episode because I am just wiped out entirely. <laughs> so, uh, this time, this time, I'm pretty sure I can do it. So... <laughs> I, I had to be honest. I didn't want to keep playing it up as a as a thing I didn't know about. Um, I was coming up with a plan because, uh, well, I think I know what was killing me outright, and what was killing me outright was uh, pretty annoyingly uh, damaging. <laughs> so. I had to come up with a plan, um, and it will be very apparent what that plan is when I get into it, because, uh, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Oh, my good golly goodness. That is the first time that's gone. Okay, Jeebus. Alright, um... Okay. I just need to keep doing that. Oh, gee. Okay, well, I'm dead. So much for that. Okay. Yeah, it was too easy, yet I died. She, she's making fun of me, isn't she? Okay, well, um, I might as well take the injury kit. There we go. Okay. So. That, uh... Studded leather boots. Hmm. Okay, I don't know who I'll give those to, but uh, maybe Morgan. I don't know, but I do have a level up. I got knocked the fuck out, but I got a level up regardless. So there's that. Um, okay, so well, that was the wrong button, dumbass. Okay. Um, let's look at Morgan's armor. Yeah, she has gloves. She does not have boots. Let's fix that. Alright, uh, and her robes had plus two magic and plus ten cold damage. Okay, um, I don't want to remove them for armor. If they give her that many bonuses, so I'll I'll put up with that for now. So level up time already. Um, I think I'll up dexterity a little bit to be more in line with strength and uh, up strength a little bit. Seems good to me. Okay. So. Um, Momentum. Carry one attack through to the next, increasing attack speed substantially. It 
consumes stamina quickly, however. Hmm. How much more than this? Oh, yeah. It, it has a 60 upkeep. Okay, well. Hmm. Well, I mean, in two more points, I can get a dual expert. So, that would be good. Dual weapon expert. Uh, I should probably get something that will be useful to me, won't I? Uh, what would Whirlwind be? Oh, yeah, I would need a lot more before I can get that. Uh, each hit deals normal combat damage. Hmm. That probably... That probably would be useful. Um, just have to wait until then, I guess. Um, I don't technically have to use it after I get it. And everything else available to me is only like weapon and shield and two-handed and archery, which I'm not really going towards, so... Guess I could slowly work my way to uh, perfect striking over here. Yeah, I could do that. Seems good to me. All right. Slowly merc, merc, work my way over there. There we go. Boy, oh boy, does my mouth not want to fucking cooperate. All right. Oh, I got a tactic slot. Hmm. Well, um, considering I died, but the rest of the party was okay, uh, I consider that a win. <laughs> Could have gone far worse than it did. Okay. Oh, it would just would have gone to the same goddamn place. I'm stupid. Um... Other than that, hmm. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with that fight. And the level up. Can't complain about the level up. Okay, so. Uh, what shall I do with everything else I need to do? Um... Yeah, I'll move those to junk for now. Move that and that to junk for now. I'll deal with these in a bit. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work just fine. Alright. Cool. Um, it struck me that I might need, yeah might be able to make some more, and I might need to. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Should have stopped that. myself from making that last one. Why do you keep saying can't do that? You clearly can. Let kings fight over kings. Trade needs to flow. Fair enough. If there's civil war, what will happen to us? Good point. Oh, hi there. There's one of the deserters. Short bow, okay. Number of dwarves just standing outside and wondering what's gonna happen to them, I wonder. And the maker, my brother and his family made it out of Lothering. He said that the Darkspawn attacked it the very next day. The Darkspawn took Lothering, did they? I don't know. I expect so, since there was no one there to stop them. Well, it won't be much longer until those monsters get here. There doesn't seem to be anyone fighting them now. We're trying. We're trying, believe me. Just getting... The Swamp Witch has a great deal in common with my former master. The Swamp Witch? How original. The Swamp Witch has the same arrogance, the same air of cruelty. I would hey. hate for it to have possession of my control rod. 
If it still worked, of course. Let me tell you what you can do with your control rod, Gollum. Is it telling me that if the rod did work, that it wouldn't want control over me? I wouldn't go so far as that. I could, for instance, command you to go and jump in a lake. A very deep lake. It fools no one. The Swamp Witch would control everything if it could. It would have us all dancing on its strings. Oh, you know me too well, Gollum. Your revealing gaze has laid me bare. I will be watching the Swamp Witch. It must not be trusted. Oh, <sighs> now you're beginning to sound just like Alistair. <laughs> well, I mean... Hmm. Okay, well, that was a thing. That was a, uh, that was an interesting take from Shale, which I understand. Uh, I don't blame her <laughs> for that. All right. Let's talk to oh, you. You look like you a... You wish to talk to me? Yeah. Truly, it's a curse. You seem like a shopkeep. So well armed to notice a lonely merchant. You live on the surface? Someone has to. Try okay. when other races can dry up. We surfacers are Orzammar's lifeline. Even if we're denied a cast, the assembly says we turn oh. our back on the stone. But they still use the goods we bring. Hypocrites. Yeah. That's not right. Someone should do something. Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. Here's hoping. How often do you restock in Orzammar? Twice a year. I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. It's very closed in. Mm -hmm. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Fair enough. I should go. Best of luck to you. Thank you. I wanted it. I wanted it. I wanted to see his wares. Why can't I do that? Ugh. Stark. Stark the apprentice, huh? What oh, I wait. You? I have a note from your master here. This ought to be interesting. Yeah. Such diction. This man is a true scholar and rhetorician. I am honored to be fired by one such as he. Good day. You are what? So you've been fired. And you're honored about it. Okay. At least there wasn't a fight. I was expecting a fight, to be honest. Alright. Let's talk to the deserter here. You have some kind of problem? A bit. I'm here on the behalf of the Blackstone Irregulars. Oh? What was this about? What do you think? <laughs> I'm here. I hear you stole supplies from the guild. I worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. Oh, yeah? I have no choice. Forgive me, Warden, but I cannot go back with you. Well, uh, I guess in this case, this was unavoidable. All right. Well, that was unfortunate, but I guess unavoidable. Okay. And down. Studded leather boots. I was almost stuck there for half a second. The supplies and frost shear. Hmm. It wouldn't be entirely good for me, but when Morgan's already set to have more frost damage, maybe it'd be good for her. Hmm. It's a thought. It's definitely a thought. Also, I real I just realized, speaking of the devil, I haven't had fucking <laughs> anything frost related turned on. I am here. Wow, I'm dumb. Okay. I probably could have made the fight easier earlier where I wouldn't have died. Oh well. Um 
yeah, let's uh, take care of that equipment thing with Morrigan. Uh, there. Put it on A. There you go. Good for you, Morgan. Now you're kitted out for cold shit. Maybe by extension it will help us. Who knows? Uh, well, I did the outside quest stuff for Frostback Mountains, which is pretty much what I was trying to do. Um... I guess we can go back to the camp now. Or we could go here to do that other, uh, the other thing. I think that was that other letter. Uh, of course. Why am I not surprised? What do we got? An already dead thing from the left. Oh, ho, oh, hi there, you shitty little shit. Oh, I'm not scared of him as much as I was not expecting that drop out of nowhere. Okay. Uh, go after you. Okay. Yeah, I can handle this. There we go. And there we are. Good. <laughs> Whoo, I did not expect them to drop onto me like that. Oh boy. Bloody corpse. Alright, that's that's a good way to start this. And a cocooned corpse. Well, understandable. Oh hi there. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, I know someone who won't be watching this episode. Okay. Alrighty. Pile of filth. Ooh, a health poultice and a small grease trap. Alrighty. And an elf root. And an elf root. Okay. Uh, any more new spider fights I'm going to be into? Okay. Got that elf root. I don't know how, because that is really fucking high up there. Guess I was standing on Shale's shoulders for that. It's the only thing that makes sense. Alright, and, uh, okay. No reason to travel any further that way, okay. Well then, where am I supposed to go, game? That's what I want to know. Uh... Ah. Oh yeah, I was trapped in that. I guess I go this way. And I think there's probably going to be one last fight before I finally get out of here. Yep. That's what I was thinking. Is your time Fuck. Could you not? Okay. There we go. Alright, alright. You, but you, you just you just weren't doing the thing. That's why I told you like thirteen times. Getting a lot of deep mushrooms though. That's nice. Bloody corpse. Just had an effort. Okay. Any more fights or am I done? Yep. Oh queen spider. That explains the best. Okay. Could I not be webbed up every five seconds? 
I just got re-webbed before the original webbing got fucking dealt with. Uh, there we go. Got a good hit there. There we go. And... This episode will be titled Big Spider Ambush, so that way anyone with a spider, uh... Uh, what was it? Arachnophobia, there we go. I uh, will uh, not have to deal with the sudden, oh, spiders, jump. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> just like minorly got me. Like I said, I'm okay with spiders. I usually try to catch them and uh, sit them outside the apartment uh, just so I don't have to kill them. Uh, <laughs> did not expect them. To jump out of nowhere. Should have with all the webbing. That was on me. But. Uh, we dealt with it. <laughs> That's the good thing. Okay. Gather the party and adventure forth. The rest of the way. Oh. Stop right there, outsider. The Dalish have camped in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere, and quickly. Actually, I've been looking for the Dalish. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? Uh... I'm a Grey Warden. I wish to speak to your leader. A Grey Warden? How do I know you're telling the truth? Many people go about pretending to be Grey Wardens, do they? No, that's true. Perhaps I shall let the Keeper decide for himself. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. Understandable. Hands to myself. Hi there. I see we have guests. Lovely. It's a whole colony. Who are these strangers, Nithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen Keeper. Now, Alrighty. allow me to introduce myself. I am Zathrian, the Keeper of this clan. Fair enough. Its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? I am... Does that mean you're in charge here? Uh... Yeah, I'll just be polite. Uh, my name is Thomas. Pleasure to meet you. Mass. Thomas, rather. From a Shemlin? Yeah. Interesting. What might be your mission here? Have you come to spread news of the Blight? I had already sensed the corruption spreading in the South. The existence of the Blight is not news to me. Yeah. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Mm -hmm. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. A little. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Yeah, a little. Please, follow me. A little bit. It would be nice. Oh, my goodness. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. Oh. They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. I the Blight's see. evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. I understand. There's, uh, there's a little bit going on on your side, and that's... Uh, <laughs> werewolves. Mm. That is understandable. Ha, ha, ha. Hmm. Hmm. 
Is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. Mm -hmm. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. I'm pretty good at non-trivial tasks. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. Wither. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. Yeah, understandable. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. Mm -hmm. I cannot risk any more of my clan. That's fair. Have you cons... Well, I mean, they're the Dalish. I'm pretty sure outside help would not come. Period. You said you could perhaps destroy the curse. There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. Gotcha. I'll find this weather fang for you. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. Mm -hmm. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. I get Where you. there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin. Allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. Yay. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Gotcha. Uh, I need some equipment. Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you. The kind that the hunters use. Fair enough. Uh, I have a couple more questions, too. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice Lanaya or Sayrel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. I'm sure they probably could, but I wanted to ask you a couple things first. Uh, do you have any advice? Watch for the white wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the Watch forest. Watch for the white wolves. Tell me more about the curse. There is not much to say. It stemmed originally from Witherfang, but now any werewolf may infect someone with it. So did all werewolves everywhere stem from Witherfang? No. The ones from this forest, however, do. Okay. So if a werewolf bites me, I might become infected? It is possible, but not guaranteed. The only way to protect against the curse is not to be bitten. <laughs> Pretty standard logic there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty standard logic, yeah. Very, very standard logic. Oh yeah, you you get turned into a horrible beast if you get bitten. Just don't get bit. Forehead. All right. How do you how do you know if you have been infected by the curse? You will know within a matter of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit, and most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. Ah. If that happens to you. You should seek out Witherfang even more swiftly. Your mission at that point will be rather personal. How did it start? That is a long tale I do not have time to tell. Fair enough. Ask Sayrel about it if you wish. All right. Uh, go on then. I think I've asked all I wanted to ask. I should go. I must return to caring for my people. Mm -hmm. Creator's speed on your way. Good luck. Alrighty. Dalish camp. They are dealing with a lot of stuff right now. What is this? Andrewil? What's up the hunt? Darmsu. What? Uh, it's not that much better than my current one, but it's pretty good. Blade forged by the Dalish Smiths, made from metal bartered for from the human lands. Hmm. Pile of school. Dalish apprentice. Barathorn! I needed to talk to you. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Barathorn. I, uh... I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durganlin. 
This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then. Yeesh. Please forgive my distraction, Stranger. <laughs> That's not how you use a you hammer, need? dude. <laughs> That's not how you use a hammer. He's just bapping it sideways. Fucking... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I, I was told you could supply me with equipment. Yes, yes. The Keeper sent word that you might ask me for such. Mm -hmm. I took the liberty of assembling some goods that our hunters use. Good to hear. There is a large chest by the Araville where I put everything we could spare. By the Araville. Feel free to sort through it and take whatever you need. Sounds good to me. Uh, is there uh, any other equipment you could spare? I have nothing left that the clan could spare, but... We do have goods that we were going to bring to the Shemlin villages to barter with. Well, then, I would like to barter with you. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. All I can do is hope. Dalthanu. That is pretty strong. Darthanan. Hmm. Darmisan. That seems, yeah, it does seem stronger than my current sword. Um, hmm. Not enough for me to change it up, but it's something at least. Oh, and they start selling... Weapons for Shale after she's recruited to the party. That's something. Cool. All right. Um, Dalish gloves. Hmm. Oh. They add. They add stuff. Hmm. I was a little surprised by that. Okay. The deer skin was cut thicker for the index and middle finger, so it would withstand heavy use by archers. When equipped in a set with the Dalish armor and boots, the character... And it has bonus stats as well, from the look of it. Plus three defense, plus one dexterity, which was the same as the gloves. Hmm. Chastened robes. Wouldn't that be more of a thing for Morrigan? Huh. Pieced together from ragged strips of leather and adorned with the teeth and bones of animals, this robe is thoroughly frightful. It also smells strongly of tanned hides and sweat. Yeah, I would, I would bet, considering. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Elf rope. Warrior or rogue. So that'd be moi. Oh, it's just nature resistance. Eh, it's not good enough. Not good enough for me to do that. Greater health poultice. I didn't know that there was stronger to have. I'll buy these. Um. Don't need that. Oh yeah, I forgot to sell all junk. There we go. Now the inventory is a little less uh, crowded. All right. Rock salve. I was about to say. Okay. Decreases movement speed and attack speed. Hmm. Silver brooch. A large gemstone on, in an intricate silver setting. Hmm. Oh, I could actually get the health poultice recipe. So I can make the stronger ones. Oh. That would be good to have, actually. 
That one, I don't even know if I don't even know if Morgan would be able to make those. Yeah, it requires expert. Yeah, there'd be no way. Right, we sell that anyway. And that. Uh, sell those. There we go. Now that I think about it, uh, I could unequip those things I equipped to the sides. Uh, side. Well, I mean, I might still have the fire arrows on Tomas. The one time I was intending on hitting that button and I didn't hit it. Ah. What do you wish? Uh, barter more. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Sounds good. Uh, sell the firebolts. Or should I? I would get a lot of muns out of it. But, uh... Should I hold on to them until I get a crossbow? I wonder. I mean, at this rate, I've been getting more bows than I've been getting crossbows, so... I guess no. I'll just sell them. There's quite a bit of muns. I'll be honest. That's enough for me. Dalish longbow. Rapid aim, huh? I do have an... Wait, no, I don't. I don't have enough dexterity for this. Or at least I shouldn't. Oh, but because of my helmet and everything else. Yeah, that's right. Okay. The helmet and the ring, you know, that helps me get there at least. Um, Dalish longbow. Uh, oh, Leliana can't use it. I can, but she can't. That's weird. It would be an upgrade for her. Quite an upgrade. Should I buy it to plan ahead or should I just leave it be? Because I might get something better and then regret spending the money. I mean, I guess I could always come back. Yeah, I guess I can always come back. Alright. Another Darmasu. Ooh. All the good stuff. There we go. Then I'll just sell you back the stuff do you wish? that I don't need. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Yes, let's Perhaps trade. there's something here which will be of value to you. Yep. Yeah, something that will be of value to me will be the muns. Eh, yeah, might keep those. Um, studded leather boots. Did I not give those to Morgan? Or is that a different... Is that a different pair of them? Might be a different pair of them now that I think about it. But now I have to double check. Oh, boy. Uh, no. That's a different pair of them. Huh. Weird. Um... I guess I don't really need them. Maybe for equipping Zevran later, but yeah, not right now. Okay. Um, what was this? So I ran into, yeah, I ran into that earlier in a different place. Huh. God of the craft. Wow, there's a whole lot of things I'm finding. Landmark tent. Okay. Alright, well, I think I can end the episode here for right now. Uh, jeez, I'm finding a lot of those. Colored inks. Oh, for the tattoos, I assume. Yeah, I found a number of things I, uh, did not expect to find here. So, uh, that's good. Um... 
Mithra, I want to talk to her again. Because I think there's something. Uh, something with her that we'll need to talk about. Although I don't know what. There's a lot of things that have now popped up for me. I'm not entirely sure what to think. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube and Raj Kamal on Patreon for supporting my Patreon and thus supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to, you know, figure out what we're doing and side quests. And I kind of fell into a main quest by mistake. Uh, oops. But uh, I was trying to get some of the other things dealt with in regards to side quests. Just so I can get the muns and not have to worry about money. Which is usually always a constant worry. I don't want to worry about it in the game, at least. <laughs> For you.